It is like eight in the morning. I got to sleep at around four, four thirty last, last night. Um, finally got the video edited. It's scheduled for, the, I don't know, in like an hour or whatever. So, so I got like four hours sleep because I, by the time I went to bed at 4.30, I laid down and I was like, yep, I'm definitely awake. <laughs> I couldn't fall asleep. What's wrong with me? So this morning I had a shower. Um, the Westin just has no temperature consistency control on their shower. So you hop in, it's nice and warm, and then it switches to like ice cold and then searing hot. And then, I know it's not on purpose, but it woke me up for sure. I feel a little nauseous just because of lack of sleep. I think we've all been there at some point. But um, it's like 8.30. Mm. And I'm meeting the team at night. So I'm gonna get ready to go. I just kind of feel like it's Groundhog Day with the amount of times I'm gonna end up at Chicken Steak this trip.
So the guys are uh, doing wool call right now and while they're doing that I'm gonna go check out the merch table and see what cool things they have to do today. So as you saw the line is pretty long. I talked to some Gen Con staff um, that are managing the line. Looks like you can get through it in about 30 minutes. So it's really quick even though it looks like it's a long line. And it's kind of gonna be like that all day. It tends to be like that up until like 5 or 6 p.m. So if you're gonna wait like an hour for it to calm down, it won't. I would just say, rough it for 30 minutes, hang out with your friends, play some space team on your phone, and uh, it'll be fun while you're waiting in line. It's not that big a deal. Also, I've already heard like reports and rumors of people forgetting their badges and tickets at home. And when that happens, unless customer service is in any way able to do something for you, but usually you would have to rebuy everything. That's your tickets and your badge. So, that's why I always do will call. It's 30 minutes here. I can't forget anything. It's 30 minutes of my time and uh, that way I don't have to rely on myself, which I don't trust entirely. discussion and talk about um, the Lyft codes um, the Lyft partnership that they have with Gencon and I haven't really seen any announcements or anything about that at all super weird seen very much of me today yet um after the farmers market um we did well call like you saw i went to gmhq to see derek and hang out for a little bit you saw i don't know if you saw that briefly but i am um, oh my god but oh geez everything is bad everything is bad um what you didn't see is i went to deliver food to a couple of volunteers and people working Gen Con because they couldn't get away and they've been traveling all night red-eyeing it here so I made sure they got food I ate a sandwich and now I'm back in the hotel room and I kind of how it's like what time it's like 3 45 I have to be at the stink around 5 and I kind of have some time to kill so I'm gonna just take a nap for an hour and I'm not even gonna feel guilty about it I'm gonna close the curtains Put on my face mask or eye mask. I'm gonna nap for an hour. I know I'm supposed to meet somebody between two and six, but that still means it's around five. Then head to Union Station for the stink, meet up with Rob, give him some minis that I painted, and then do the rest of the day. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. Not even feeling guilty. I woke up from my nap and I'm not even that grumpy. I'm a little grumpy, but not that grumpy. Did I tell you guys I get really grumpy after napping? Well, I'm, that's fine. 
I wanted to show you Gen Con uh, Indianapolis with Gen Con so you can compare to what it was like without Gen Con yesterday. Yep. I'm so tired. I did not like. I did not want to get up. Also, I'm really bad at napping. I don't actually think I get rest or fall asleep. I don't know how to do that. I'm grabbing my stuff. I'm gonna go talk to Eric. Eric is managing and helping manage all of the streams that are happening at Gen Con this year, like you saw in one of my vlogs. I'm gonna go talk to him to see if he needs help having somebody run around with a backpack, and then I will go. And then I'm going to the stick, which is starting like right now, but it's for three hours, so plenty of time to check that out. Come with me. Lightning strikes by my window, hits my chest right in the morning. Slept here for days I felt your heart beat Felt your mouth real But it's not real We were close to See the sun But clouds got in our way And so should start making um nelly's editing daily roundup clips i think because that's what happens now it's like almost two and i i'm just about actually finished editing my video i just wanted to kind of close it out with something because it's just been a lot of it is a montage heavy video let's just call it that today a lot of um we did the fun Farmer's Market, Rocket Fizz, comic book tradition. And I got some really fun sodas. I forgot to show you. Derek has them. There's uh, some really fun ones in there. Highlights are going to be the uh, buffalo chicken wing soda. And then I didn't end up meeting Rob to give him his minis because I was busy with um, <laughs> Eric trying to figure out this dreaming schedule for tomorrow. It took a little longer than expected. And then tomorrow is really fun. Tomorrow the exhibitor hall opens, so we're going to explore that. And I'm in a couple of games with some friends. Oh, and I continually forget to mention this on these vlogs, but every day I'm doing a little mini like meet and greet thing at the Lucas Oil Stadium. There are tickets for that in the Gen Con system. If you just search for Nelly's Nerdy Adventures, it should pop right up. It's just a one hour event from six to seven where we can play fun board games and uh, you can say hi and I get to meet you guys and it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna wrap this video up, edit it, export it, upload it, schedule it, 
Get sleep. See you tomorrow. Good night.